guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you for joining me for today's video today's video is going to be the follow-on video from the previous video that i did which was talking about all of my favorite beauty products from 2022 that i'm bringing into 2023 so if you didn't already watch that video i'll link it down below so you can see all of my favorite beauty things i did also pop on the lip gloss that i talked about in that last video it's from the brand faux color i think i'm saying that right I'm not really sure, um, but I just wanted to tell you the exact one that I've popped on because I don't think I've talked about this particular one in the last video, but it's also one of my favourites I've been wearing. It's called Born Bad and it's a bit of a brown toned lip gloss, which I've put over my normal lipstick. So yeah, that is what I've got on my lips now, but I talk a lot more about all the beauty stuff in the previous video. So definitely check that one out after you've watched this one. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about all of my, what I would call lifestyle products. So things that I use every day, in my life from like home bits to fashion bits like bags and shoes that I wear all the time which I think is kind of lifestyle lifestyle is like a big broad spectrum so even the previous video could have been lifestyle stuff but I talked about so much it was too much for one video so I wanted to separate them out so this is my next bunch of favorites from 2022 that I'll be bringing into 2023 so let's get into the video so my first favorite has got to be HelloFresh. I am working with HelloFresh on this portion of today's video. I have worked with them previously and I will be working with them again because I love HelloFresh. I've used them for a long time and we will be continuing into 2023 with HelloFresh. They are a food delivery brand, so they send you over all the ingredients you need to make, really lovely dishes. They send you the instructions, everything is measured out. So even if you don't cook, you can kind of learn to cook, which is exactly what I've done. And I also like the fact that when I come home from work, I'm tired, I can't bother to go down the shop or I've not got the right ingredients for something. It's all there for me. HelloFresh makes life so much easier. They also have lots of different ranges. So they have rapid food, which usually takes about 20 minutes to cook, or they have like home favorites, which take a little bit longer to cook, or they also have a premium range, which you can pay a little bit extra for. And then you can get things like lovely steak. And yeah, it's just really, really nice you can choose which day of the week you want your delivery you can choose how many people for how many days a week that you want it and honestly i find it so affordable we save money by using hellofresh because before we did our shopping we were unorganized we'd buy things we'd end up throwing them in the bin and with HelloFresh, we don't waste a single thing. The meals are beautiful. So for us, HelloFresh is definitely something we'll be continuing with. I do have an amazing discount code with them. The discount code will get you 60% off your first box. So you can get your first box for a very, very discounted price to give it a go. Then it also gives you 25% off your next eight boxes, which means that you will get discounted food for the next two months, which I think is the perfect time of year to try it out because we all want to save money in January and February. There is also a QR code which I'll pop on the screen which will take you directly to the offer so you can check it out for yourselves. So again if you want to save 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes then definitely check out the link below. So thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this segment of today's video and thank you for providing us with amazing food and lovely meals every day which we've been really enjoying so yeah hello fresh is definitely coming from 2022 to 2023 we are going to continue our subscription because we absolutely love it so next up is a crockery set that i did buy from bnm i have the whole set um, you can't actually buy this one in, well, I couldn't in my B&M anyway, I couldn't buy it in a set, but I just bought each thing individually before Christmas because we had people coming, I didn't even have enough plates and bowls and things, but I love this range so much. I think it's the natural home range in B&M. These are kind of like the beigey coloured ones with little speckles all over them. These are the pasta bowls. I have six of these, I have six of the plates, six of the mini plates. And they're honestly so good. They're really lovely, chunky plates. If you like the kind of rustic home decor, Scandi home decor, um, then you will love these. I'm so pleased I got them. I love the kind of shape and designs of them. And they're very affordable. I think each thing was about two to three pounds each, which I feel like is a good price. And I think if you could get them in the set, then you could probably like save even more money by just buying a whole set of them. But these are definitely a new favorite of mine. We've got rid of most of our old stuff now and we just have nice new things in the cupboard, which is so nice. So next up is this air freshener, which is a plug-in. I have tried every single plug-in hair freshener over the last couple of years. Hair freshener? Did I say hair freshener? I meant air freshener. 
if I said hair freshener. I've tried every single air freshener that there probably is from when I've done my B&M and Home Bargains hauls. I found this one, actually somebody, one of you guys recommended to try this one or I'd bought it and they said it's definitely the best. And I agree, it is so good. I now have three of them just placed randomly throughout the house and they really work so nicely. You actually get three scents in here and they puff out different ones at each different time, at different times. It's not always the same scent. So you notice it more because you're not used, you haven't become like nose blind to a scent. So you walk in the room and you're like, oh, it smells nice in here and it's something different. You walk in again, oh, it smells nice. You can choose the fragrances. They're quite similar fragrances, but a little bit different. Um, I've, oh, I've got the Blossom. I can't even remember what ones I've got now, but I'll try any of them because honestly, they're, they're all really nice. So I now stick with just buying refills. So I'm not making any waste because I was buying the sets and then not using the actual this thing. And then I'd buy another set. So it's just such a waste. But now I just have three of these and I just buy the refills from normally B&M or Home Bargains or Cherries. Cherries do like a dupe of this, so it's a little bit cheaper rather than the Febreze ones. So I think it's the Febreze ones that I'm using. But this is the Freevolution device, which I didn't actually say. You can also change the setting on the side so you can have it low, medium or high, depending on how much fragrance you want to be released. And they're just very good. They last really well and they're my absolute favourite and it makes the house smell a little bit better, a little bit less like dog. Okay, next up is going to be a couple of mugs. I bought these mugs, I think I bought them in 2022, and I, honestly, I use them every single day, and if they're not available, like if they're in the dishwasher and I can't use them, I'm just really annoyed. These are my favorite mugs. These are from Starbucks. I picked these up randomly at a service station when I was going away somewhere, and they're just so, nice um they're like marble but with rose gold and then you have the standard kind of starbucks logo on the front here the handle is also so nice to hold i don't know if you can really tell but it comes out quite far and honestly they're just the best mugs i use these for my coffee my tea mugs are bigger i like my coffee mugs to be a little bit smaller i had to buy two because if i see something i like i always buy two of it but yeah, i know a mug isn't very exciting but it is exciting to me because i'm a bit of a homebody i love being at home with a mug of coffee and just chilling in front of netflix that's like my favorite thing to do so um these are definitely a favorite which i will be bringing into 2023 I don't know if you can get hold of these anymore, so that might be really annoying that I've showed you them. You might not be able to get them, but if you see them, or they do loads of different ones, don't they? I always see them when I go to service stations and they have Starbucks there. And they always have so much things to buy in there, um, and that's where I always spot the best ones. But yeah, these are my favourites. I do have a few others that I've bought along the way, but these are the ones I always go back to. I love the marble design, like the marble even goes all the way inside the cup here. And um, yeah, they're just nice and chunky. They go nice with the bowls and plates that I've bought as well. Okay, so next up is a candle. So this is a neon candle in the fragrance happiness. Now I know neon is very, very up there in price for candles. I'm showing you this one because this is the one I'm currently using, but for me, any candle, so just candles in general are something that I'm going to be bringing from 2022 to 2023. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this one. This one is beautiful. I use this one when I'm in the bath and it just scents the room. They're very strong neon, very strong candles. Um, this is Neroli, Mimosa and Lemon. And it says scent to make you happy, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, these candles are really nice. If you want a luxury branded candle, neon is the best ones, I would say. That, well, the best ones that I've tried from the like, luxury end. These are great for gifts. I actually got my friend one for Christmas, but I actually got her like the massive one because she's just moved house, she's got a new home and I just wanted her to have this lovely candle. So yeah, I got her, it's like a big one. I think it's got three wicks in it. Um, I can't remember what scent that was now. It was just, it was really good. Was it eucalyptus? I can't remember, but it smells so good. They all smell really good to be honest. But yeah, any candle um, will do as long as I've got one. My life does not feel complete without a candle. Every evening, I'll, if I'm watching TV in bed, I'll have a candle burning. If I'm watching TV downstairs, I'll have a candle burning. So there is always a candle burning somewhere. So from 2022, 2023, I will be bringing candles with me. Oh, that rhymes. Okay, next up is something I forgot and should have put into the previous video, but I'm putting it into this one anyway. It is the most incredible product for your hair. 
This is from Rituals. It's called, it's from the Elixir collection. It's called Purifying Scalp Scrub and Shampoo, Sugar Crystals and Argan Oil. This is so good. So I was finding that I was getting a bit of dandruff, which I know is a bit grim, but it's the truth. I was getting dandruff and itchy scalp. I do only wash my hair once or twice a week. So that's probably why. I should probably wash more, but I don't like washing my hair. So I won't be doing that. <laughs> but when I use this, I feel like my hair stays cleaner for longer. So I tend to wash my hair with a normal shampoo to start with, or like a blue shampoo or purple shampoo to try and brighten up my hair. And then I go in with this and it is a scrub for your head. So it looks like that. Um, you kind of scoop it out. It's very minty fresh. What is even in this? It doesn't really tell you what scent it is, but it's very minty. And you just scoop it out, rub your hands together, massage it into your scalp. It does lather up. Sorry about the dog barking. Um, but you can also feel the scrub on your head. And I just massage it for quite a long time and I really scrub because where I do have quite a dry scalp, I wanna make sure I'm getting it all. And then it foams up as well, so you can massage it down into the length. So it does clean your hair as well as scrub the scalp. And then when you rinse it out, the feeling on your scalp, because you've got all this menthol all over your head, when you have the warm water washing it out, it's invigorating. It feels like some kind of special invigorating treatment and I honestly love it so much. I went to Rituals the other day though and I couldn't find it in there. Whether I'll ever find it again, I don't know, but it is the Rituals Elixir Collection Purifying Scalp Scrub and Shampoo. And it honestly, guys, if you enjoy having a really good head scrub, clean feeling on your scalp, like the feeling you get when you go to the hairdresser and they clean your hair, if you like that feeling, I think you'll really, really enjoy this product. Also, all of these things that I talk about today, I will leave them linked down below if I can find them. So fingers crossed, I can find these. And also if I find any discount codes or if I have any of my own personal discount codes for stuff, I'll leave that link down below as well. Okay, next up is a very bougie item, but I won't lie, I think it's worth the money. A lot of the time with designer stuff, I would say it's probably not worth the money, but these, they're worth the money. These are my Chloe wellies, which I didn't even bother cleaning for the video because I really wanted you to see how used they are. They're very used. I got these for my 30th birthday um, and I love them so much. I think, I don't know how much they cost now. I think they're probably about three to four hundred pounds. They could have gone up. I noticed Chloe stuff had gone up in price a little bit. Um, but these wellies, I think they're called Chloe boots, but they're, they're basically wellies. Although one thing I will mention is they do have a zip all the way up. So if you do go in any like deep puddles and you're wading through, eventually it does soak through the zip, which is not ideal. But I wear these all the time, which really, Ollie cannot believe it. He's like, you can't just wear them on dog walks. I'm like, if I'm having a, if I'm spending this much money on something, I'm wearing it. It's not just going to sit there and not be used. So these I use probably every day throughout the winter. Dog walk, I wear these. They're so comfortable. I love how chunky they are and they also got a nice bit of a heel. Even though they've got a heel, they're still comfortable. I've got them in a size six and they would be slightly too big if um, I didn't have thick socks on, but I love wearing thick, cozy socks. So with these, I wear thick, cozy socks and yeah, wade through puddles in them go on dog walks, the bottoms are so big and chunky. And yeah, you can see mine are very used. They've got scratches all over them because me and Ollie went on this dog walk once and I said we should go like off piste. Um, and we got totally stranded in, and it was like we'd gone through these bushes, but you couldn't get back through. So we had to wade through all of these brambles. We could see a field but to get to the field, we had to go through all these brambles. And unfortunately, this was all I had on my feet. So that day wasn't a good day to wear them. Um, but unfortunately, that is what happened. I know that maybe people watching would be like, well, you should look after stuff a bit more. But I also have the belief that if you're going to spend a lot of money on something, you should use it for its purpose. Like they're wellies. So are they not designed to be worn on dog walks? <laughs> I wear mine for that. I love the square toe as well. I also have quite um, thin ankles and it's normally quite hard for me to find something that fits quite nicely. These are quite slim in the legs. So if you have a wider calf, you might struggle to actually get them done up, but they might do um, a different, like a wider calf one, I'm not sure. 
But for me personally, I, I like the fact that they're thin because they fit nicely around my legs. They don't look too open, like gaping open or anything. They, they look quite nice and smart. Um, I'll also wear these when I want to look smart as well. I'll clean them, obviously, and then I'll wear them with going out and doing something nice. I'll still wear these. So, yeah, I definitely wear them at least every other day. So they are a massive lifestyle thing for me. And they're my favourites. And I, I'm actually going to save up and buy myself them in another colour. That's how much I love them. Next up, I have this handbag, which is from Teddy Blake. I've had this for a long time now, and it is my everyday handbag. I love it. It is leather, really high quality. It's in this kind of um, black crocodile print, which I love because it is so wearable. It goes with every single outfit that I put on. Inside it is lined. It's got, sorry, all my stuff's in there. So it's not even, it's not even cleaned, but inside um, you can see like the suede lining is red. It's a perfect size bag. Teddy Blake do lots of bags, but this is my favorite. It's the perfect size bag for everyday use. It's quite a heavy bag but heavy as in nice quality. You can unclip the handles. So when I'm going out in the evening, I'll take it just like this. But every day where I, I just pop the crossbody strap and I wear it across the body. But yeah, this is the bag. If you ever see me, this is probably the bag that I will be wearing because honestly, as well, I've worn it so much. It doesn't even look used. On the outside, it just looks new. It's just, honestly, it lasts and lasts and lasts. It has zips either side, and then it has the main body bit here and it's a beautiful handbag and I love it. Okay, last up, I can't physically hold the thing because I'm using it right now and that is my new phone. So I did treat myself to an iPhone 14 Pro Max um, after I, well, my camera that I used for filming had a little bit of an accident where I was filming a cement mixer and then the cement mixer threw cement on my camera and my camera appeared to be okay but now it's not okay. So I'm guessing the cement has like set in the, I don't know, I've got to take it to someone to fix it. But anyway, I needed a new camera because YouTube is something I do every single week. So I can't just not have a camera because then I literally cannot do what I love to do. So um, I needed to invest in another camera, but at the same time, the iPhone 14 came out and I was watching loads of videos and I thought, why don't I just, get a new phone and use that as my camera. Because when I go out vlogging anyway, I use my phone to film. I had the 11 Pro before and I use that to film because it's so easy. When you're out and you, you wanna quickly film the moment, you've got your phone, you pull it out of your pocket, you film, no dramas. Whereas when I had the camera, it's a bit more like, right, get the camera out, get it set up and get, and um, it was more awkward, more bulky. It doesn't always fit in your bag. So I decided I'm gonna get rid of the camera, get rid of the iPhone 11 and get the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I got the big one because I can edit on it as well. I normally edit on my iPad uh, and I use LumaFusion, which is uh, specifically made for the iPad and also for the iPhone. But now I can use my phone to call people, which I hardly ever do, to message people, to take photos. It takes amazing photos. I do all my filming on it. So right now my iPhone 14 is filming this video and I think the quality is fine. Like I don't really notice that much difference between, maybe the coloring slightly different, but I don't notice that much difference between my camera and this phone. I think possibly the microphone could be not as good. So I probably need to get myself like an external mic from my phone. But then once I filmed, the whole footage is on my iPhone 14. So then I take that off and then I just get my editing app and I edit straight from my phone. So my whole YouTube is all on my iPhone 14. So even though it was a lot of money to invest into my channel, I use it all the time for absolutely everything. So it's a massive lifestyle thing. Um, and I take pictures of dogs on it. I take videos everywhere. I just, my iPhone 14 is my favorite thing. Oh, I also want to show you the case. Oh, I might pop the case off the phone and um, show you that as well because I bought a case from Casetify. I got sucked in. I see a lot of Casetify ads and um, I thought, are they as good as what they come across? Loads of people do ads for them, so they must be quite good. Because I feel like a lot of YouTubers will only work with brands that they actually use and love. I don't think people would want to promote stuff to people that they don't actually use. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna buy case to buy case. They're quite expensive, but I invested in one and it's so cute. So actually I'm gonna take it off and show you. That'll be my last thing that I show you in this video. So this is my case that I picked up from Case Defy and I love it so much. First of all, they're really protective on your phone, but they don't actually feel that thick. And they have so, so many designs to choose from. I spent hours trying to choose a design, but I went for this nude design with a border collie on it. If you haven't watched my other videos, we have a dog called Belle and she's a border collie. And this is literally the spitting image of her. It looks so much like her, I can't even believe it. It's just so similar. So this case has border collies all over it. And then it has like little coffees. So we've got iced coffees, hot coffees, coffees in mugs and it's just really cute it's coffee and dogs like what more could you want they have all other breeds as well with the same design on it and yeah so this is definitely something i'll be using like i'm not going to change phone case until it needs to be changed so yeah this will be coming with me into 2023 so that is everything i feel like i've talked so much because also the previous video i filmed thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're having an amazing 2023 so far and let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see this year if there's anything in particular i do have a, another video coming up for i bought the cheapest thing from and i bought the cheapest thing from louis vuitton so i'm going to start that whole series again because that was one of my favorite series so if you have any suggestions for high-end brands you want me to buy the cheapest thing from and see what we get and what it's like and what the packaging's like and if we get anything free then um let me know because those are really cool videos to film anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to and i hope to see you in my next video bye oh did you hear that that was my elbow clicking Bye.